What's up everybody, it's your boy Sam back again today with another fire video. And on today's video, I'm going to be doing what people have been asking me to show them for a long time, bro. And that's going to be showing you how to properly boil crawfish. Now, some people say they can boil. I've seen it, you can't. I've tasted it, you can't. I'm saying what I'm saying, it is what it is. But on today's video, I'm going to show you how we boil. I'm going to show you how we get to the point of boiling with the prep. Everything, bro. Now... You know, I don't show you all my ingredients that I use, but I show you the basics so you will know how to boil properly, you know. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy the video, bro. So I want y'all to sit back, relax, enjoy the video, because you know what's out. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. 35 pounds South Louisiana crawfish, man. Let's clean them. Now, nah, let me bust a myth right quick. A lot of people say using salt doesn't help with the crawfish, well, you know, purge them, but that's a lie. Salt actually helps clean the crawfish, all right? So salt, that actually putting salt on them helps wash the dirt off them. Don't let nobody tell you any different. But you want to clean these crawfish. So it takes me about... 20, 25 minutes to clean a full sack to get it how I want to get it, which is damn near crystal clear, as I'm about to show you right here. Uh, see right here? You know the crawfish getting good. Now, believe it or not, I had two dead crawfish out there, whole 35-pound sack. You want to drain them, throw some mice on them, let them sit till you're ready to boil. Boom, here we go. Onions. Basic, basic, basic ingredients for any boiler, any beginner boiler, any expert boiler. You want to use onions, lemons, garlic celery i put my stuff in a bag because it's easy for me to roll like that my recipe calls for five lemons it calls for five onions here you go you see me cutting it up you do not have to lay up here and get all the outer coating of the onion off the sheet and all you don't have to do that man look just cut that bitch in half put it in the bag you understand me that's all you got to do don't try to be cute Right here with your with your um celery. Just cut it down, you know, maybe one and a half inches a piece. Move the stem, throw it in there. All the garlic, smash them, throw them in a the bag. As you see right here, I have two red, two yellow, two orange bell peppers. I use one half for each, on each pot I use. I use the other half for my turkey necks that I made. So, like I see, you know, this adds flavor to it. It makes it taste really, really good also. You know, plus it gives it just, I like color, so it gives it a little color. But just make sure you get all the seeds and all that out of there. We don't even need that because it's not doing nothing for us. Now, right here, I use one whole bottle of hot sauce. You can use whatever hot sauce you want. Now, the reason why I use the hot sauce is because the vinegar in the hot sauce helps make peeling the crawfish a lot easier. I use one cup of sugar. Now, I put all this on when my, I started my pot. So my pot had not even got to a boil yet. I put all this on once I start my pot. I use half a bottle of the granulated garlic, which, man, it's a game changer. It's a real game changer. A lot of people don't do it, but I'm telling you, do it. It's a game changer. I put my peppers in there. I fumble with the bag a little bit, bro, you know. But whatever. It don't make a difference. Now, when, you, you, when you're doing your lemons and if you're using oranges and all that, make sure you squeeze all that into the pot before you put it in there. Get all that juice out of there. Then you put it in the pot. Now, right here. Again, I'm not going to tell you what seasonings to use. I didn't show all my greens. Like I said, I, I do competitions from time to time, so I can't, you know, exactly tell you what I'm using. But, yeah, put that four and a half pounds, whatever you season seasoning, put it in there. Now you stir it up to incorporate all of this. Incorporate all of it. So that, that's how you know all the flavors get, get going. Boom, we got to a rolling ball. Now, when you're doing crawfish, I don't do it like everybody else. I put the crawfish in the strainer, and then I put it into the pot. Now, your, your crawfish, they literally only have to boil for maybe five to eight minutes. I go eight minutes, cut it off. Once you cut it off, you can put your corn in there, your sausages in there, whatever else. Look, look at this here. Ooh, we got part. Oh, and put your potatoes in the pot once you turn it on, and it start boiling, you know. So if your crawfish look like this, see how they're underwater? It's full of flavor. They're ready. Bam! Look at them turkey necks. It's ready. I'm only doing this here as a little preview to let you know it's ready. Look how beautiful. South Louisiana crawfish, 35 pounds, man. Everything in that thing, man. Trust me. I got more videos coming. Look at that. Beautiful, man. 
Come on, man. You know what's out. And that's it for today's video on this brain of day. Any questions, any comments, any concerns that you may have, put them in the comments below, man. I'm going to respond because I love the feedback and I also love talking with y'all. Uh, I got more videos coming, so no need to worry. I'm going to do another crawfish video. It's going to be, you know, a little bit more in depth, a little bit more stuff to it, more flavor to it. Uh, until then, bro, I want y'all to just like, share, comment the video, because you know what's out.